Hey guys and welcome back to another how to tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to make a working alarm clock that will actually go off when you wake up in the morning. So guys stay tuned and I'm going to show you how you can make it. Right guys to make this really cool working alarm clock we are going to need all the blocks that you can see right in front of me. We are going to need any kind of building block, sticky pistons, redstone comparators, redstone repeaters, daylight sensor, note blocks, buttons, redstone torches, redstone dust and any kind of custom head. I'm going to be using a custom clock head. Now once you have all of these blocks guys we then need to find an area of where we want to build our alarm clock. Now I have a little bedroom set up here and I'm going to build my alarm clock on this side table right here. So the first thing we need to do guys is work out the block that we're going to put our alarm clock on. Now I'm going to put my alarm clock on this block right here. Now once you have decided what block you're going to put it on you need to put a button on the front of that block because this is what we're going to use to turn on and off the alarm clock. So once you have done that we then need to dig behind this block so we have a space behind it. Then we're going to go behind where we dug out that hole and we're going to start working on the redstone for the alarm clock. So I'm going to clear out two blocks on this side right here and I'm going to place a redstone torch on the back of the block that had the button on it originally. Then once I've done that I'm going to get two pieces of redstone dust and put it to the side like this and then I'm going to put two pieces of redstone dust like this so we have it coming out right there and coming up right here. Then I'm going to get my redstone comparator and place one redstone comparator right there and one redstone comparator right here in front of the torch so we have two redstone comparators. Then I'm going to get a redstone repeater and place it in this gap right here like that. Then I'm going to get myself a sticky piston and I'm going to put a sticky piston facing in this direction coming out of that redstone repeater. Then I'm going to get another redstone repeater and place it next to the other redstone repeater right there. Then grab your daylight sensor and place it behind this redstone repeater right here. You don't need to click on the daylight sensor, it will be on the perfect setting when you place it down the first time. Then we're going to get our building block and we're going to place it in the next to this sticky piston right here. Then we're going to go around on this side and we're going to put a redstone comparator coming out of this building block right here like that. Then we're going to right click on this comparator so the little light turns on on the front. Then we're going to get some redstone and we're going to place a piece of redstone from the front of it, a piece of redstone on the side and a piece of redstone in the corner so it gets this flashing light like this. Then what we're going to do is run this redstone until we come up to our wall. So what we're going to do now is basically dig under until we get to the block that has the button on it which is this block right here. So you can destroy some of these blocks so you can find that block right there. That's the block right there and we're going to dig underneath this block so we have a bit of space. And I'm going to put my note block on this block right here that is underneath the block where the button is. So grab your note block and put it underneath that block right there. Then what we're going to do is right click on this note block until we get the sound that we want. We want a really high pitch sound. So I think that sounds good right there. So just keep right clicking on it until you get the sound that you want. So what we're going to do now is run this redstone wire all the way to the note block. So when I connect this redstone to the note block, the note block will start making loads of noise. So if I do this right here, you can hear it, it started making a lot of noise. So now what we can do is start repairing the blocks that we placed down before. So if I grab the floor block, I can start repairing it, start repairing the wall. And if I go on the other side now, you will see that it's completely hidden. So if I go and press this button right now, it will turn off the noise. So our alarm clock is off right now. So what we need to do now is give ourselves a command block so we can have the custom head on top of this block so it looks like a working alarm clock. Like I said before guys, you can use any custom head that you want to, it's totally up to you. You can have a zombie alarm clock if you want to and just get a zombie custom head in vanilla Minecraft and just put it on there and that could be your alarm clock if you want it to be. But I'm going to use a custom clock head so I'm going to need to give myself a command block. Now to do that I need to do slash give, then my Minecraft name, then type C-O-M-M, press tab, press enter and that will give me a command block. Once I have a command block I then need to place it down and then paste in this command. This command will be in the description guys so all you need to do is copy and paste it. Once you have pasted it inside of your command block press done, press the button and that will give you a custom clock head. So what we're going to do now is put this custom clock head on 
this area right here where we done all the redstone so guys that is not it there is a really cool unique feature to this alarm clock so as you can see right now it is daytime so what i'm going to do i'm going to set the time so it is nighttime so time set uh 15 000, which is nighttime so as you can see, it's nighttime right now and our alarm clock is off. So what you need to do when it's nighttime, you need to press this button right here and that will turn on the alarm clock. So as you can see, there is no noise and it's nighttime. So that is perfect. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to bed and when you sleep and it turns to daytime, you will notice that the alarm clock goes off in the morning and it's really really cool so when you wake up in the morning and you want to turn your alarm clock off all you need to do is press this button then the alarm clock will turn off and then when it becomes nighttime once again you, you when you're ready to go to bed you press the button once again you go to bed and then the alarm clock will go off again when it is daytime so we have a really cool working functional alarm clock that you can use in any of your minecraft builds and i think it's really really cool but guys if you enjoyed this tutorial today and you want to see more just like this and you never want to miss an upload from me all you need to do is click on the little bell symbol next to the subscribe button and you will be notified every time i upload a brand new tutorial but guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it and i will see you again in another how to tutorial